A reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, who made a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, who led out chariot and horsemen together with a strong army, until they lay down to sleep together, never to rise again, snuffed out and put out like a weak. Remember not the events of the past, need not to think about what was done before. Look, I am doing something new, and now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? Yes, I am making a road in the desert, and rivers in wastelands. Wild animals shall glorify me, the dragons and the ostriches, because I am giving waters in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert for my chosen people to drink. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I will go further because of the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, and I count everything else as a loss. For him, I have accepted the loss of all other things, and I consider them so much rubbish, that I may gain Christ, and to be given a place in Him, not having any righteousness of my own based on the law, but through the faith in Christ, the righteousness from God, that I may come to know God and the power of His resurrection, and share of His sufferings by being conformed to His death, striving towards the goal of resurrection from the dead. It is not that I have secured it already, nor yet attained perfectly, but I am still pursuing it, in hope that I may possess it, since I have also been apprehended by Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I do not account myself to have taken possession, just one thing, that is, forgetting all what lies behind me, but straining forward to what lies ahead. I continue my pursuit towards the goal, to win the prize of God's heavenly call in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus went to the Mount Olives, and early in the morning he appeared in the temple again. All the people came to him, and he sat down and began to teach them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman along who had been caught committing adultery and made her stand in the middle. They said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery, and in the law Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? They asked this to test Jesus, so that they could have some charge to bring against him. But Jesus bent down and started writing on the ground with his finger. As they persisted with their question, he straightened up and said to them, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again he bent down and continued writing on the ground. When they heard this, they went away one by one, beginning with the elders until the last one had gone. So Jesus was left alone with the woman who remained in the middle. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She replied, no one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, sin no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 